Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for July 29th, 30th, and 31st, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, we are in Leo season. Please remember, this is the introduction. It will be the introduction for all of the videos. If you want to just jump over the introduction, hope you'll watch it at least once. Then go down here, and in the description, I've put after Cross Watchers, you know, the timestamp. Okay? Okay. Anyway, I have, you know, I am going to be using for the main readings after the uh, timestamp, I will be using my Radley Valentine, our, my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards. I will pull one from my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards and one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, we will do a overview reading in the introduction, and I will use my Rider Wait, Wait Rider traditional tarot and my Colette Baron Reed, the good tarot. Now, I have prayed, meditated, infused all the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, these are general readings. They may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. I'm an intuitive channeler. Hopefully I can speak this through. I open myself up to higher power, God, Holy Spirit, and whatever comes through, it just comes through. That's like a clear cognition. I don't necessarily have to think so much as just speak it out. Now, what's going on in the, um, just in the stars themselves? Well, on the 28th, we talked about, and I'm pulling my stuff up, we talked about the new moon in Leo and that, um, and this is all Eastern time, so you can always uh, adjust your timing. And also that on the 28th, um, Jupiter was to go retrograde. And, you know, now Jupiter is in Aries. So those are good, those are very, very good energies because then on Ju uh, July 31st, which will be Sunday, Leo, Sun, the Sun and Leo at 8 degrees will trine Jupiter, which is retrograde in Aries again. So trining has a really very positive type of energy. You know, it's basically, it's considered one of the better or the best energies, the best aspects, and that it can bring uh, luck, harmony, really positive changes. So this is when the planets are working within the signs of the same element. So the energy is really, really good and really easy to work with. So so that 31st, between I would say between that 28th to that 31st, we, we've got some positive energy between Leo and Jupiter. And remember, Jupiter's in Aries, fire energy. And it will, it'll, it'll happen for a couple of days after two. Now, on August 1st, we have Mars, which is in Taurus, 18 degrees Taurus. It's conjunct with Uranus, 18 degree Taurus also. So Taurus is that earth energy, the here and now, um, a lot of things to do about with your home, your work, your job, your career. Uranus, of course, is that, you know, expect the unexpected. Now conjunction, though, basically pulls those energies together when they're in the same sign and they make them more intense. So I'm kind of going with, while we have these, uh, you know, favorable energies at the end, you know, with uh, Leo, with the Sun, Leo, um, Jupiter, and Aries, we have these really positive energies going on, and also that new moon. We also have these expect the unexpected energies when we come into the 1st of August. But again, all of these, it's not like a light switch that just pushes right on and says, oh, it's August 1st, let's have this happen. They all build up, and then they all dissipate. So we've got some interesting stuff happening as we change from July into August. Now, let's go ahead. Let's ask Higher Power what we've got going for this weekend, the 29th, 30th, and 31st, just universally, You just whatever's going on in the world. Remember, this is, you know, fear is a tool of the devil, is a tool. Many other tools used. Do not allow fear to run your life. The other thing is, no matter what is going on in the world or in that universe, we still have to live our lives. So live them um, as the best you can. Live them large and laugh, laugh a lot. Laugh a lot. Pray, meditate. Also, you know, connect with who that is for you in the other realm. Um, you know, God, source, angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Okay, so let's go on. Oh, we are also, we are also in... 
the opening of the Lion's Gate. Now the Lion's Gate is supposed to come to its full opening on August 8th, but we are, especially with the new moon, we are entering into this, we're opening this one gate. So it, it takes a little bit of time to open and then it seems to shut pretty quickly. I think it's like the 11th or 12th that it shuts. It is a, it's one of those portals into the other dimensions, into another realm, um, generally speaking. And this is all part of the Mayan and Aztec um, religions uh, and their calendars. So it's supposed to be, um, you know, on a positive energy also, positive source. So let's see what we have. So we have the hangman that has fallen. Numbers are important, very, very important. Numbers have been used to scare people, but we can also use to encourage and lift us up too, okay? And that's how we really should be using the numbers. Um, remember, I'm always telling us that we're telling you, me, that we are uh, star seeds, light workers, and we, need, we are put here for this time. We were, out of all the times that we could have been put here, we were put here for this time time in particular. Okay, let's see what we've got here. So this is the one that popped out. This is a 12. 12, we have that one new beginning, the 10. 10 plus 2, 10 transitional energy. 2 is choices, choices, choices. What are you going to do? And then 1 plus 2 is a 3. Celebration, creativity. Also, it has the power of 3. And yes, there is a lot of power in doing, saying something three times, okay? Now, the Hanged Man is a major arcana, so, you know, this is part of the 22 um, universal type of energies here. The Hanged Man is waiting around. The Hanged Man is in position for something to happen. The, the Hanged Man is kind of saying, you know what, I guess I've got to do this. It's not necessarily what I want, but at the same time, I will be at peace with where I am and what I'm what I need to do. And if you look, I mean here he is hanging from his one leg, the other leg bent. The other the arms are behind, you know, kind of like if he you know just kind of like waiting, 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 waiting. And yet there's no fear, there's no real, you know, you hang that long <laughs> upside down, you know, all the blood rushes to your um uh, to your head, but there is a protection over the hanged man. Now, the hanged man traditionally is to see, you know, to look at things a little differently. Yeah, but it also, there is a sense of submission with this hanged man for right now. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. Next card is, we have death card. Again, this is reversed. Reversed cards have a very strong energy. Okay, so that's how I look at it. Now, there's other ways to look at reversed cards, but how I read them, it just means pay attention a little bit more. So now... Again, major arcana, we go to the 13. So we have that 3, we have that 1, 0, 3. Now you add the 1 plus 3 together, and it's a 4, stability, leadership, organization. The death card is one of those cards that, um, you know, that's very scary on the surface, but at the same time, it's very transformational. Something, you know, so kind of like something happening this week that might you might need to look at a little bit differently it actually might be providing a freedom anyway we may not see it to begin with but there's something happening this energy is very strong kind of scary at some point but it it releases it's a relief you know it's a, it's a something ends something begins something ends something begins something dies something lives okay but it's not to be it's not to be used um it's not to really for you to focus on the the um, negative of this. This is ready to go through your next journey, ready to open up that next door. Maybe it's that portal that we're in right now with, you know, Lionsgate getting ready for this, or it's actually happening. Something's really big, big happening. Something ends, something begins. Okay, but it's, it is, it is rather drastic. It is rather, um, you know, it is. It can be uh, rather alarming. Okay, it can be rather alarming, but ultimately, it is to it is to clear away for a week. Clear away the I don't know. You want to say the negative? You clear away. Um, you know that that just that energy that weighs you down in order for you to start again. Okay, next card is here we go, and now we have that eight eight is unlimited opportunities, unlimited possibilities. This is the pentacles. Pentacles is our earth energy. 
it is our Capricorn. Remember, we have um, Pluto and Capricorn, which kind of could go along with that one. Um, we also have, it's also Taurus. We've got, a, you know, the Taurus energy is going to be off the wall, um, off the charts, I should say. Um, especially, you know, Uranus and Mars, uh, you know, kind of pulling together. It's also Virgo. Virgo energy is next is the next season over. So it is your your money, your job, your career, your home. The thing about this is kind of saying though that things are working out the way they're supposed to. The eight of pentacles traditionally is, you know, not you know, not only are you ready, you are really ready. And people are recognizing how ready you are. But there, you know, there is a sense of preparation that's been done here. And that's time, you know, the preparation is almost over it. You know, you're just ready. There's also accolades that come with the um, Eight of Pentacles, too. So kind of whatever, I would say that right now you're ready. Um, you know, don't, don't, be, don't be alarmed. Whatever's going to happen, don't be alarmed. Uh, look at things a little bit differently. Know that whatever's, um, whatever is ending, it's so that something new and better can come along, especially since this card follows this. This is the better. Okay, let's go on and see. Uh, yes, I have to look again. I said it right the first time. Colette Baron Reed, the good tarot. And let's see what we've got here. And it, it, this, this is affecting, this will affect, this affects everyone. This affects everyone. It's not just one or two this affects everyone. Some will, some will go along. Some will, will there be like, no, I don't want to watch this. I don't want to see this. So, but whatever it is, there's a lot. There's, you know, you are ready. You've been prepared. Um, you know, you're you're good. You're good to go. You're good to go. Okay. So let's see what we've got. Colette Baron Reed, the Good Tarot. What do we have here? What else can you have? Higher power, what else do we need to know here? What do we need to know? But yeah, look at... Okay, here we go. Well, we have now the tower. We have now the tower. So, <laughs> basically, something this weekend, maybe a little before, maybe a little after, something this weekend... It does feel that this is what this is a very ooh, spiritual, energetic um, things happening in the heavens type of weekend here. Now the tower energy is exactly the tower in the traditional. Okay, it is a sixteen. We know what one is. We know what six is. Six is no, we don't. One and ten. Six is the number of man. It's the energies we put into something. One plus six is seven. I love seven. Sevens are, to me, it's a divine number. Well, it is a divine number. I look at it as the divine umbrella being watched over by the divine. And no matter what we're going through, it just feels, um, you know, it just we just need to have that faith. We need to trust that we are protected. So the tower energy itself is one where the tower has to come down. Something has, to, it has, it's, it's been, it's been faulty, it's been broken, the system's been broken. Things have to fall down in order for things to build up again, okay? Or for other, in order for things to actually um, become better. So it's kind, you know, remember we have Saturn in Aquarius, and I know I bring it up all the time, Saturn in Aquarius is illusions versus um, the truth. So there is a lot of things between this death card and this... Um, tower card this is this is disruptive but it, it makes way for something better okay does that make sense it does make sense but i mean it does make it makes way for something better we have to look at it that way and we have to feel and we have to believe that we are as prepared as we can emotionally physically spiritually for whatever this is whatever these two are that um can be a little jarring but ultimately for our good. Okay? Okay. Interesting stuff. Okay, take a moment. Now, the one thing I did not talk about was our fire energy, which is Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Passionate, burning, very determined. It's, it's uh, fire, it's rods, wands, 
Um, our air energy is our Aquarius. It's our Gemini. It is our Libra. Remember Aquarius? Saturn's in Aquarius still. It is very strongly in Aquarius still. And, you know, that's about strategic thinking. It's also making plans, also hearing news. The other is our cups, our water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, fluid, emotional. We have the south node in Scorpio right now. Pisces has Neptune. Neptune is going, is retrograde. So there's a lot of uncovering of secrets with that too. So a lot of things going on, um, you know, a lot of energies that we're feeling. So take a moment though, please, before we get to the main readings, take a moment to go over here, like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications, comment if you're able to. Um, I haven't been there for Sunday and Monday. Thank you very much for the birthday wishes. I had a great weekend and a great Monday. So thank you so much for that. So why don't we start our readings now? Hello, my Libras, and how are you doing? Well, let's see. So we have the Lion's Portal, the Lion's Gate. And I was just thinking as I was getting ready and I'm thinking about my Libras and asking, God, what do you have to say? I'm thinking portals tend to, my Libras are very sensitive to portals, okay? So, you know, that is at the, um, you know, the solstice, the equinox, the, you know, and I would say that probably even with this. Now, I was kind of getting that Mercury retrograde energy type with this portal, and that a lot of times when, when all of this comes together, a lot of times my Libras tend to really connect with that, with the supernatural side. A lot of times people come and visit you from the other side of the portal, okay? Um, you know, it's, it's always interesting. Don't be afraid. Uh, I would say that if this is something that happens to you a lot, um, you know, I, I, I always, before doing anything like this every morning, even, you know, Lord, cover me with your cloak of protection. You know, I want your spiritual, physical, wherever and whatever needs protecting, okay? But my Libras, just be aware that you could be having visitors during the next, what is it? I said it until like August 11th. And then when does uh, Mercury go retrograde? I don't know. Anyway, let's see. And I know it's straight right now. So just be prepared. You could be getting visitors during this time. So let's see what higher power has to say to my Libras. Yes, 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 Libras. Again, you could be getting some visitors. You could be... Uh, a little more sensitive to the portal energy. Ah, oh, it's an it's that's an interesting thought too because it's like um, I don't know if any of you are into astro projection, but that could also open up for you more so. Okay, so here we go. Next two card, these two cards are reversed. First card is the nine of fire. Somebody just got that nine of fire. Um, can't remember if that was in the earth energy or in the fire energy. Either way, this is a fire energy card. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, passionate, burning, very, very determined, strength. This woman has strength, whether you be male or female. This is standing up for herself, standing up for what she believes in. This is not backing down at all. Now, this is, you know, the fact is you might want to cross watch um, you know, go to your natal birth chart and just, you know, cross watch the other parts, your rising, ascending, yada, 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 and just check those out too, because she popped up in one of the other ones. So there, there this is, there's some strength energy here. There's some strength, um, really words of, I don't know if it's words of caution or just basically telling you to believe in yourself, also, you know, to have confidence you know, whatever, if you're facing, if something's facing you down or something's really coming at you, stand strong. Stand strong and believe in you, okay? I love her. I do love her because she, even though she doesn't see, she's not necessarily built for strength, but yet she is who I call the dragon tamer. And, you know, she, she has the ability. She has the ability. She may not have been built that way, but internally, spiritually, she definitely was. Nines mean you've got everything you need. Wrap it up. Don't give up. 
Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. Confidence. Confidence is needed. Next card, reversed. Six of air. Well, I love six of air. Six of air is like the ten of air that something's ended. This is not necessarily saying that things have ended as much as you're moving out of it. You're moving away. You're letting others deal with their own stuff. <laughs> you're letting other. You're kind of like, you know what? That's yours. That's no longer mine. Or it's not so much that it's no longer mine. It's I've been holding on to that. I've been helping you carry your load. I'm done with that. I am now moving on. I am now, you know, going to that better place. You know, still on this world, still in this world. But I am making some changes to make my life better. Okay? So, the six. Six is the number of man. It's the energies you put into it. Air is your energy. Sag I'm sorry, Aquarius, and it is Gemini energy. And remember... Saturn and Aquarius, maybe you're seeing the light. You're seeing the light. You're seeing truth to a situation. Somebody might have been, you know, trying to um, kind of like, you know, there's a lot of narcissistic energies out there, and they try to tell you, oh, no, you know, you don't know what you're talking about. And you're like, well, I, I think I do. I think I do. So this is, kind, this is one of those times where you're seeing the light. Things are looking up. The end of a difficult situation, taking a trip. Movement, movement. Next card is the five of water. Fives, change energy. Positive could be negative. Water is our Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Neptune's uh, retro in Pisces, so there's a lot of dream energy there. There's a lot of, you know, fulfillment or unfulfilled dreams energy with that. Um, Scorpio is in the south node. Again, there's, there's, this, there's this thing. Things aren't, just, things aren't necessarily settled. Five, positive, negative. This is kind of that um, looking looking back and not looking future, okay? Or it's kind of like I have to deal with the past, but yet there is things happening in this future too. So it's kind of, you know, the five of water is really trying to tell you, again, going back to this and going back to this, don't dwell in the past. There is more in the future for you. So this weekend has a lot of uncovering for you. It has a lot of things just really being revealed. Um, there's a, there, you know, be confident, move forward on it. Don't dwell so much on the past that it keeps you from moving to that future. Okay? So things not turning out the way you'd hope. Not seeing the positive in a situation. Crying over spilled milk. Interesting doesn't help doesn't help the milk the milk has been spilt clean it up move on pour yourself another cup or another glass if you have some let's see what we have here so 965 569 interesting 15 15 20 um all you know if you add them up it becomes a 20 20 basically 2 2 0 oh that's a judgment card that's the judgment card um interesting also, two is crossroads decision. Zero is God's source energy. Numbers, numbers have such big meaning. So let's see what we've got here. And now we have a 10 reversed. We have destiny. We have the wheel of fortune. So we have that one new beginning. Zero, God source energy. 10, transition things are moving for you you have you know do you have the courage to do it do you have the confidence yes yes my libras you do you do have the confidence but it's kind of like opening up and accepting your destiny not settling it's not like i have to settle for something but it's moving into your destiny moving forward this is the wheel of fortune again major arcana okay so things are happening in a very positive energy. It may be a little bit difficult. It may not feel as comfortable as you'd like it to be. But life is that way. Life is that way. So let me see what we've got, what crystal or energy we have for you. Crystal or energy we have for you. And let me know, you know, a lot of, a lot of, my, a lot of people that, that watch, 
you all read with me, so let me know what this means to you, too. So let's see what we have here. Crystal or energy for my Libra. So moving on. So you are moving on. You are making some changes. Is that a job? Is what, what relationship is that that's changing? Um, it doesn't mean you have to leave, leave, but, you're, but making changes does make things better for you. This card is not reversed. Here we go. Moldavite. This is a little expensive one. Healing, protection, telepathy, connection, Moldavite. Interesting with that one. Anyway, my Libras, stay confident. Be strong. Do it. Okay, my Libras, take a moment to, to like, share, subscribe, click on that bell for notifications. As always, my Libras, know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.